The following code excerpt showcases a common setup encountered in Python-based data analysis or data science projects. Let's delve into its operations. 1. E library importation. The script kicks off by importing a range of essential libraries modules such as OS, Pandas, Matplotlib, Piplot, Seaburn, Warnings, Plotting, Stats Models, API, NumPy, and Operator. These libraries are frequently employed for data analysis and visualization duties. 2. E setting configurations. The script establishes specific configurations utilizing the imported libraries. For instance, it silences output warnings with warnings, filter warning sign or and configures the dipic dots per inch for displayed figures via pult or params figure dp227. These adjustments aid in tailoring plot displays and quelling unnecessary warnings. 3. To module recloading the inclusion of from import lib import reload allows for the recloading of previously imported modules without necessitating the restart of the Jupyter notebook or Python kernel. This feature proves handy during the developmental phase when modifications are made to external modules and swift inclusion of these changes is desired without the need for a complete environment restart. 4. The intent this code snippet is typically utilized at the project's outset or within a Jupyter notebook to configure the operational environment for data analysis activities. It handles library imports, fine-tunes visualization settings, manages warnings, and readies the groundwork for ensuing data analysis visualization, and statistical modeling operations. 5. The significance e dependencies the inclusion of libraries like Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaburn is imperative for executing data manipulations and visualizations. E configuration establishing settings such as DP for figures and handling warnings aids in personalizing outputs and enhancing plot aesthetics. E functionality recloading modules is sometimes vital for seamlessly integrating alterations made during the development phase without necessitating a complete environment restart. In essence, this code snippet stands as a conventional setup that primes the Python environment for effective execution of data analysis, visualization, and statistical modeling endeavors. This snippet of code is designed to scan a directory called DataStocks and extract a list of files within it. It proceeds to iterate through each file and verifies if the file possesses a SPI extension. These files are presumed to pertain to stock information and are incorporated into a dictionary labeled stocks. For every valid CD file detected, the script leverages pandas grid city function to import the data, designating the date column as the primary index. Subsequently, it adjusts the index to a data time format with the aid of geeked toad at the time. The resultant data frame is then added to the stocks dictionary, with the corresponding file name serving as the key minus the SPI extension. This code proves to be highly beneficial in automating the task of sourcing stock data from numerous CD files thereby streamlining the data preparation phase for subsequent analysis or manipulation. Through this implementation, we can effectively load and structure stock data from diverse files into an organized layout suitable for various data-oriented tasks like analysis, visualization, and additional processing. Below is a snippet of code that showcases how to display a curated list of keys from a dictionary named stocks. It kicks off by showcasing list of stocks followed by the uppercase rendition of each key from the stocks dictionary ensuring they are displayed with spaces in between, in essence one. By leveraging the stocks, keys function, the code manages to extricate the keys stored within the stocks dictionary. Two, subsequently a for loop is employed to navigate through each key within the dictionary. Three, as each key is processed, the printy, upper, and command takes charge by converting the key to upper race via the upper method. The presence of the end segment is instrumental in curbing the default new line behavior post each printout. This technique fosters a coherent presentation of the output on a single line, effectively spacing out each element. This nifty piece of code proves to be handy in scenarios where there is a need to convey a list of keys from a dictionary to the end user in a well-structured format. The inclusion of end within the print function emerges as a pivotal enabler, empowering the user to govern the separator amidst the printed components. This snippet of code allows us to peek at the initial rows of information housed in the slug column within the stock's data frame. It's handy for gaining a rapid insight into the data, grasping its setup, and making initial observations. Employing head enables us to constrain the display to the first few rows, making it easier to comprehend the data without inundating the output. The following script calculates the correlation between the returns of the SLA stock and all other stocks in the dataset, ranking them in descending order. It then identifies the top five stocks with the strongest correlations to SLA. E stock SLA core computes correlation coefficients between the returns of SLA and other stocks. A return filters correlation with returns. Sort values by return. Ascending files arranges correlations in descending order based on returns. E5 selects the top five results with the highest correlation to SLA. This code is beneficial for examining how the performance of SLA interacts with that of other stocks in the dataset. Analyzing these relationships is key for managing portfolios, assessing risks, and making informed investment choices. 
Within this code excerpt, several tasks are accomplished. 1. Adjusting the figure's dp dots per inch to 227 for enhanced detail in the plot's resolution. 2. Constructing a figure with precise dimensions of 18 14 inches. 3. Generating a heat map based on correlation values extracted from the Tesla stock datasets features. 4. Embedding correlation values onto the heat map as annotations, rounded off to two decimal points. 5. Ensuring proper alignment by setting limits on the e-axis. 6. Appending a title to the plot denoting the depiction of feature correlations within Tesla. By employing this code, it becomes feasible to tailor the visual representation of the correlation matrix by configuring elements such as figure size, T, annotations, axis boundaries, and title, thereby enriching both the informational depth and visual allure. This sort of fine tuning plays a pivotal role in effectively showcasing and interpreting data visually, a critical aspect in data analysis and decision making processes. This portion of the code is likely utilizing the function plotting Bollinger Bands to create a visual display of Bollinger Bands for Tesla stock data slot throughout the year 2018. Bollinger Bands are a popular tool among traders for assessing stock price volatility. Bollinger Bands comprise three lines a central band typically representing a 20 day simple moving average SMA of the closing price an upper band calculated by adding two times the standard deviation to the SMA, and a lower band calculated by subtracting two times the standard deviation from the SMA. Visualizing Bollinger Bands allows traders to gauge whether a stock is overbought or oversold based on its current price in relation to the bands. When the stock price touches or surpasses the upper band, it might signify an overbought state, whereas touching or crossing the lower band could indicate oversold conditions. Employing this code plays a crucial role in technical analysis, assisting traders in making well-informed decisions about purchasing, selling, or holding stocks based on how their prices move concerning the ball in your bands. It appears that this code excerpt utilizes a function named plotting, or seek to graph the relative strength index RSIC for Tesla stock data in 2018. The receipt serves as a momentum indicator, gauging the pace and magnitude of price shifts to signal potentially overbought or oversold situations in a stock. From what I can gather, the function ingests stock price details, filters out the Tesla data for the year 2018, computes RSIC values from this data set, and then visualizes these values on a chart. Employing this code proves valuable in assessing a stock's price momentum during a specific period such as 2018 for Tesla. Traders and analysts commonly rely on indicators like RC to guide their buying or selling choices based on overbought or oversold circumstances. Presenting data through graphs aids in deciphering RSEQ values and trends more effectively. This piece of code is likely used to generate a graphical representation of the moving average convergence divergence MAD for Tesla's less stock data in 2018. The MAD is a widely used tool in technical analysis that helps traders spot possible signals to buy or sell in financial markets. It involves subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average EMA from the 12 period EMA, resulting in the MAD line when applied to stock data. Plotting the MAD can offer valuable insights into the stock price's momentum and trend direction. Traders can analyze crossover points and divergences by visualizing the MAD line, a signal line typically a 9 period of the MAD line, and a histogram representing the gap between the MAD line and the signal line to facilitate well-informed trading decisions. In essence, integrating MAD analysis into stock evaluation empowers traders to pinpoint potential entry and exit positions by observing how the moving averages converge or diverge. It seems like we've got a function call here for plotting the volume using the plotting volume function with an argument that involves a slice of the TSLA data frame from the year 2018 to 2018. The main aim of this code probably revolves around creating a volume chart for Tesla stock TSLA throughout 2018. This particular chart could depict the trading volume of Tesla shares over time, potentially showcasing daily or periodic fluctuations. Volume charts are a staple in financial analysis serving as a yardstick to measure the level of interest or activity surrounding a given stock. Such information plays a critical role in helping traders and analysts make well-informed decisions founded on the prevailing trading volume trends. Utilizing this code to visualize and analyze Tesla's stock volume data can offer valuable insights into the stock's liquidity and market appeal within this specified time frame. Furthermore, by plotting the volume, it becomes possible to pinpoint any substantial spikes or trends that might impact the stock price trajectory. The following script creates a customized figure and iterates through each month from 1 to 12. It computes the volatility of Tesla stock returns for each month and utilizes Seaborn's displot function to generate a density plot accordingly. Each density plot is annotated with its corresponding month. Upon completion of plotting all the density plots, a vertical dashed line is incorporated to indicate the mean return of Tesla stock over all months. The x-axis markings are modified to accommodate the mean return value. 
and a title is appended to the visual representation. This script proves valuable for analyzing the distribution of Tesla stock returns per month and facilitating comparisons among various months. The density plots aid in grasping the fluctuation and pattern of returns by month, while the mean return line establishes a general reference point for assessment. Moreover, by adapting the CAX's ticks to encompass the mean return value, the visualization gains in-depth insight and clarity. The script, on the whole, delivers a lucid and succinct depiction of Tesla's stock returns on a monthly basis. It appears that this snippet of code is making a call to a function called plotting. Compare stocks with specific parameters. 1. Stocks. This can be a list or a data frame comprising stock information. 2. Value. This parameter designates the aspect for comparison among the stocks. In this instance, it's set to return 3. By this determines how often the comparison is made. Here it's set to day indicating a daily comparison frequency. 4. Scatter. This is a Boolean parameter. When it's set to false, the comparison is depicted as a line plot rather than a scatter plot. The intention behind the plotting compare stocks function seems to be to assess and contrast the performance of various stocks based on the specified value, such as returns, and at the chosen frequency, like daily. By graphically displaying this evaluation, users can promptly spot trends, behaviors, and connections between the given stocks. This code snippet proves valuable for investors, analysts, or individuals keen on evaluating the performance of multiple stocks via a lucid and user-friendly visualization. This script appears to be designed to create a comparison plot illustrating stock data according to certain criteria. Here's a breakdown one. E what it does the function plotting. Compare stocks is intended to generate a visual comparison of various stocks based on specified criteria such as value and method of grouping. Do say parameters stocks. This parameter likely contains the stock data intended for comparison, which may be presented as a list of stock symbols or a data frame comprising stock information. Value close. This parameter pinpoints the aspect of stock data under comparison. In this context, it seems to focus on comparing the closing prices of stocks. By month, this parameter governs how the data should be organized for comparative analysis. Presumably, the data is segmented by month for examination. Satter false by manipulating this parameter. One can dictate the type of plot to be generated when set to false. It might produce an alternative plot style, like a line graph, rather than a scatter plot. 3. The intent is snippet proves valuable for visually contrasting the performance of multiple stocks based on their closing prices within specific time frames, notably on a monthly basis. Through this comparative visualization, trends, patterns, and disparities in stock behavior become readily apparent, aiding in investment decision-making and financial analysis. The integration of this code empowers users to efficiently assess stock data, garnering insights pivotal for well-informed choices in the domain of stock trading and investment. The provided code snippet showcases the creation of a visual plot illustrating the returns of various stocks during a specific time frame September October 2018 and computes the correlation among these returns. Here's a breakdown of the process 1. Initializing a dictionary. The code initiates a dictionary named stocks return correlation to hold the return information for each stock. 2. The adjusting plot resolution by setting the plot's dp dots per inch to 227. The resolution of the resulting image is controlled. 3. E creating the plot figure. A plot figure is set up with a defined size and a white grid layout. 4. De processing stock data. The code loops through the stock data for each stock. It extracts the return data for each stock during the September code over 2018 period. The return data for each stock is plotted on the figure. 5. Day legend and styling. A legend is incorporated into the plot. Displaying the names of each stock, the legion size, position, and style are adjusted. The plot is labeled with a title. Axis and diaxis labels utilizing suitable fonts and styles. 6. By incorporating a horizontal line, a dashed horizontal line at E0 is added to indicate zero return. 7. E displaying the plot, the plot, along with all the configured elements, is presented visually. This code effectively presents a graphical illustration of how stock returns from various companies fluctuated during September and October of 2018. Analyzing stock returns and their correlations is vital for investors and financial analysts aiming to make educated choices regarding investment strategies, portfolio diversification, and risk management. By visualizing the relative performance of multiple stocks within the specified time frame, this visualization aids in swiftly understanding their comparative efficacy. The script provided is designed to create a heat map illustrating the correlation among various Nasdaq stocks returns. Breaking down the tasks accomplished by the code 1. The dimensions of the figure are set to 18 units in width and 12 units in height. 2. By utilizing since heat map, a heat map plot is generated to display the correlation matrix of the returns from the Nasdaq stocks. The correlation matrix is computed from the data using GT, data from stocks return correlation. 
Or, 3. Each cell in the heat map is annotated with its corresponding correlation numeric value by setting cannot truth. 4. The E axis limit is restricted from 17 top to 0 bottom. 5. The plot is labeled correlation between Nasdaq stocks with a font size of 15. 6. Finally, the plot is showcased via Pult. Show. This script proves valuable for visualizing the relationships among various stocks' returns. Heat maps are especially adept at unveiling patterns, trends, and associations within extensive datasets. By revealing the interconnections among different Nasdaq stocks' returns, this tool offers crucial insights for tasks like portfolio management, risk evaluation, and diversification strategies. This script is designed to compute the correlation among the stock returns of various stocks throughout the years 2018 and 2019. To delve into how the code operates, one, firstly, it sets up an empty dictionary named StockSwer to record the correlations among stocks. Two, subsequently it loops through each stock within the stocks dictionary. Three, for every stock, it retrieves the return data pertaining to 2018 and 2019. Four, it then initializes an empty dictionary C to compile the correlations between the ongoing stock and all other stocks. 5. By computing the correlation coefficient between the current stock's returns and returns of other stocks excluding itself, the code evaluates the relationships. 6. It pinpoints the stock that exhibits the strongest correlation with the current stock. 7. Finally, it catalogs the stock pair current stock and the most correlated stock alongside their correlation coefficient in the stock's word dictionary. The utilization of this code is pivotal for unraveling the interconnections among different stocks grounded on their returns. Understanding the correlation amid stocks can furnish valuable insights into their performance. Aiding in making well-informed investment choices, by scrutinizing correlations, we can identify stocks that tend to move synchronously or conversely, which proves beneficial for portfolio diversification and risk mitigation strategies. The following code snippet carries out the tasks below one. It generates a pandas data frame by extracting data stored in a variable referred to as stock store. 2. The data frame is rearranged by utilizing the T function to switch the rows with the columns. 3. By arranging the transposed data frame in descending order based on the column index to 0, it sorts the data. 4. It then presents the top 10 row stocks displaying the highest correlation values. This code snippet proves instrumental in scrutinizing and pinpointing the stock pairs exhibiting the strongest correlation. Such insights can hold significance in an array of financial and statistical analyses like portfolio diversification risk assessment, and the recognition of interconnected assets within trading methodologies. The following script creates a visual representation of Tesla's stock data for a specific time frame. Here's a breakdown of the process. Firstly, a figure is generated with a specific size by using the command pult. Figure fixes a 16, 6. Next, two exponential moving averages IMAs are computed as follows. IMA for high prices S. High, UM7. Mean IMA for low prices S. Low, UM7. Mean then a filled area plot is produced between the high and low emas with the code pult. Fill betweens, index, U, L, color J43, alpha 0, 1, label high low. This shaded region visually illustrates the price range between high and low values. The close prices are displayed as a line plot using pult. Plots, close, color check 43, label price. Another emma is calculated for the close prices and depicted on the same graph through pult. Plots, close, U7, mean color of 43, label moving average 7 days, to elaborate on the content of the plot. A legend is included detailing each linear significance with pulp, legend frame in truth, low phone border pod, 6. Lastly, a title is added to the plot with pult, tablets la close and high clow, font size in 15, and the plot is exhibited using pult. Show, by visualizing stock data in this manner, one gains insights into the stock's volatility trend and relationship between closing prices, moving averages, and the high-low price range. It aids investors and analysts in making well-informed decisions based on the data presented. Here's a script that processes a list of Tesla stock return values represented as Stokesla. Return applies SOAR normalization to standardize them, and then plots a histogram showcasing the normalized data in 30 bins. SOAR normalization entails adjusting each value by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. This procedure yields a distribution centered around a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. By rendering the data in a histogram, we can gain insights into Tesla's stock return distribution, spot any noticeable patterns or outliers, and draw comparisons with alternative datasets. In essence, this script empowers us to 